The last lunar eclipse of 2019 occurs Tuesday, just in time for Apollo 11 celebrations. The 16th of July, the 50th anniversary of the launch of Apollo 11 to land astronauts on the moon and two weeks after the moon totally eclipsed the sun, it will be the moon's turn to undergo an eclipse of its own. The full moon, in Sagittarius, will pass partway through the southern part of the Earth's shadow resulting in a partial lunar eclipse. This event favors the Eastern Hemisphere, known colloquially as the Old World, Africa, Europe and Western Asia. Most of South America will see the moon rise already within the Earth's shadow. Conversely, for Central and Eastern Asia and Australia, the eclipse will still be in progress when the moon sets during the dawn hours of the 17th of July. Unfortunately, North America will be completely shut out. The eclipse occurs during the daytime with the moon below the horizon. In Coordinated Universal Time, UTC, the moon will enter Penumbra, the weaker part of Earth's shadow, at 1843 and Umbra, the darker part of Earth's shadow, at 2001. The midpoint of the eclipse will come at 2130. The moon will leave Umbra at 2259 and leave Penumbra at 017 on the 17th of July, marking the end of the event. The magnitude of the eclipse, which refers to the maximum percent of the moon's diameter immersed within Earth's umbral shadow, will be 65%. This deepest stage of the eclipse will take place at 2130 UTC, when the dark red-brown umbra will cover the northern 65% of the moon's diameter. The moon will appear directly overhead, or very nearly so, from the Mozambique Channel. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. If you like donate to us visit home on the page PayPal.